The season 3 premiere of The Mandalorian had a beautiful moment of Grogu looking through a hyperspace tunnel to see a group of massive creatures traveling nearby. On its own, that's just great. It's just a cool image that instantly makes the audience look at hyperspace a new way. But those things are important to Star Wars lore and likely to the future of the Mandoverse, so let's talk about them. The creatures are called Pergil. If you've only ever seen live-action Star Wars stories, you might recognize that name from the Obi-Wan Kenobi series when Bail Organa told Leia he once had dreams of chasing Pergil as he explored the galaxy. But they first appeared in the second season of the animated series Star Wars Rebels. There we saw them unobscured by hyperspace as they simply traveled through real space. They survived on a diet of a gas called Cluzon 36, which helped power hyperdrives in various starships across the galaxy. Pergil could ingest the gas and use it to jump into hyperspace naturally. This phenomenon inspired deep space explorers to study them and develop hyperspace technology through the use of Cluzon 36 which in turn helped them develop coaxium and other hyperfuels. Even the Jedi and the Sith studied Pergil, which led to the creation of devices like Wayfinders. The Pergil's introduction in the Star Wars Rebels episode The Call was largely labeled as filler when it first aired, but then, two years later in the series finale, they became insanely important. The main characters of the series fought Grand Admiral Thrawn for control of the planet Lothal. When it appeared the Empire had the upper hand, Ezra called in a massive favor. Throughout the series, he was seen to have a strong connection through the Force with nature and wildlife, including the Pergil, and he was able to summon lots of Pergil to Lothal. They wrapped their tentacles around Thrawn's fleet and jumped it to hyperspace to we still don't know where. Unfortunately, Ezra was on one of the Star Destroyers that disappeared, and he knowingly made that sacrifice to save Lothal. I have no idea if the Pergil will be playing a part in the rest of this season of The Mandalorian, but I'm almost certain they will show up again in the Ahsoka series later this year. We know from The Mandalorian Season 2 that Ahsoka is on the hunt for Grand Admiral Thrawn. Star Wars Rebels ends with her finding Sabine Wren, a Mandalorian character from the series and a friend of Ezra's, so they can go search for him together. That very scene was shown in footage for Ahsoka at Star Wars Celebration 2022 because they remade it in live action. It makes sense that the hunt for the Padawan and the Grand Admiral would involve the Pergil, and I think it's great to start building towards them now in such a beautiful and subtle way. It's one of those moments that's just nice and unobtrusive to anyone that hasn't seen Star Wars Rebels, but if you have, you sit up straight and your eyes go wide with excitement. I look forward to maybe, hopefully, seeing them in their full glory in live action. But that's it for today. Let me know what you thought of the Pergil appearance in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel to keep up with all our episode reviews and Mandalorian Season 3 coverage. Follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page, where we'll be releasing our video reactions and audio commentaries for every new episode. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.